We went on Saturday night, came up being the SEC championship, I guess, in short. Um, how do you guys, uh, how do you guys look at that? How can we use that as kind of a motivation type of factor? Oh, you know, obviously the CDs were playing, you know, for a chance to go to Atlanta. So um, I'd say it's all the motivation we need for this weekend. Isaac, you're playing a defense. They haven't allowed 20 points in a game all year. I mean, you played Kentucky a couple times. What what about them and, and this challenge of facing that defense? Well, they've gotten better every year we've played them. Um, yeah, that's no surprise just by looking at what they've done this year. Uh, Lexington was a you know, tough place to play in my freshman year, and I think we won that one by a field goal. So. Um, you know, it's a tough place to play. They got a really good team, a lot of good players. So, um, you know, it's going to be a big game this weekend. Are some teams more physical than others? I mean, Kirby was down there just talking. He kept using physical to describe Kentucky. But are, are, are some games just more physical than others? And are you expecting one of those this Saturday? Yeah, I would think so. Um, just by looking at the way they run the ball and, and watching them on tape, you know, they, you know, they're phys they're a physical team, like you know, like Coach Mart said. So. You know, that's just something where we got to match it and play, you know, even more physical and, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to get after them that way. But, yeah, they're definitely a physical football team. What do you know about Josh Allen? Uh, he's, he's up there in sacks in the country, um, you know, big athletic guy. Uh, he's going to be a challenge for us, and we've got to hold up in pass pro against him. When you play a game like this that's basically an SEC East championship game, does it kind of, I guess, relieve you a little bit to say, you know, we don't need to worry about what anyone else does if we win and we're in? Yeah, I mean, it takes a little bit of the pressure off, you know, knowing, knowing that, um, you know, it's you against them for, you know, for the chance to go to Atlanta. But, um, you know, still a huge game, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff riding on this one. So, um, you know, we're going to take it lightly and, um, you know, we're ready to get after them. How dangerous is it when you play a team that just kind of refuses to lose? Kentucky's been left for dead a bunch of times this year, and they kind of keep finding ways to hang in there and pull it out. Yeah, um, you know, that's, it's going to be a four-quarter game, you know, because that's the kind of team they are. Um, if we get them down, you know, we got to finish them and, and, and try to put them away. Um, you know, good thing for us, we've been a good second half team this year. Um, you know, we've, we've done well finishing in that regard. So um, I think that's an advantage for us. But, um, you know, they're, they're a great team. They're going to keep fighting. And, you know, they got a chance to, to go to Atlanta as well. And that's a chance that they haven't had in a while. So um, they're going to be, you know, pumped up, ready to go. How surprised are you that Kentucky is in this position? Um, I mean, it's, it's not usual, you know, to see that, you know, but I can tell you over the last three years how much better they've gotten, and um, now this year it's not a surprise to me at all. What's the feeling when you catch a lot of balls during a hurry-up drill compared to catching a lot of balls in one series where you have time to come kind of collect your thoughts and get back to the huddle? Like, do you have time to kind of formulate what's going on? Um, you know, when, when you're in two-minute mode, you're breathing hard, you're running, you keep running routes, and... Um, you know, so it's a little more difficult, but you know, we got we got a set of two two minute plays that we run and we get used to. So there's not a whole lot of thinking involved. You kind of just line up and go. Are so. plays called like two at a time, like things like that? Oh um, no, but you know, we have a certain set that we practice all the time. So when we do get into two minute mode, okay. you know, we go about things that way. What's a team approach to the the whole goal line situation? I mean, obviously it was a great win, but everybody's going to be talking about six plays from the one. I mean, you're up front there. What's going on at the goal line, and where do you think the team goes from here? Um, you know, we'll get better at that. They they did a good job there. Um, you know, Florida did you know, in that game. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll put together a new plan this week, you know, put in some new plays and, and uh, you know, make sure we get in the end zone next time for sure. I was like, how much did that two-minute drill before half kind of help you all carry some momentum into that second half? It seemed like the offense had some trouble sustaining drives up until that point. In the last couple drives, just what did that do for you all's confidence, that last drive, especially for you? Um, I thought it was huge. Um, you know, get down there and get points right before the half. That's always a big momentum builder. Um, you know, driving driving down in that two minute drill, you know, it was huge. We were able to, you know, pop off a couple plays and next you know we're in field goal range. And once you get down in field goal range you you know you're you know most likely gonna get some points and um, you know that's what we wanna do. We all looked at each other, you know, right before we went out on that drive and we knew we had to get some points. So Oh, that was a big drive for us. Isaac, if I, if I would have told you in, in uh, August that you'd be playing Kentucky for the SEC title, I mean, you probably wouldn't believe me. How, how crazy is it that Kentucky's in the spot? Oh, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But they got a good team, you know, good backs, good defense. Um, you know, they're experienced. They got a lot, a lot of guys back this year um, from their team last year. So, um, you know, they're, they're a great team. I'm excited to play them. They've gotten better every year. And uh, I think this is going to be a really good game. What are some of the better things that came out of the Florida win? Um... You know, just confidence booster. Um, you know, we, we knew we could still play, you know, despite, you know, all the doubt and, and, and the outside noise. But, 
um, you know, just it's a big win for us. You know, get us back on our feet after a loss, and um, you know, good confidence boost rolling into this next week. Could you tell Brom had a different? demeanor and approach and a more confident approach Saturday after a lot of speculation through the bye week? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. Fromm's a you know great competitor for one. Um, you know, he's a guy that always wants to do right and always wants to win. And, um, you know, just in football, you have your days. You know, it, it happens every now and then. And he had a day against LSU. But he bounced back good, man. Had a great two weeks of practice and um, went out there and showed it on the field. So he, he, he did a great job bouncing back. Isaac, how encouraging was it to see DeAndre make a couple of explosive runs that you guys kind of uh, had had as many as those as last year? Yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, I kept telling him, you know, it's coming for you. It's coming. Just keep keep working hard. Keep grinding. And um, sure enough, you know, he popped off for over 100 yards, I think it was, and um, made some big plays for us. So, but he's a great player. You know, he just needs to keep working and keep grinding, and those plays will keep coming to him. Did you know Holloman was going to turn out to be this sort of receiver this season? I mean, all of a sudden, now he's on fire as well. Yeah, um, JJ's a great player. You know, I've, I've seen it all through camp and um, in the spring, and he's finally gotten some chances to make some plays. and in some big time games and he's been making them. So yeah, JJ's an awesome player, real explosive guy, um, big receiver too. So he can go up over guys and um, you know, he's done a lot of good things for us. Does the fact that you guys have played in a SEC East clinching kind of game like this before mean anything this week? Um, yeah, you know, cause we've been there before. Um, you know, so we got that experience. Um, a lot of the guys on the team do some don't obviously, but um, you know, we've been in this position before, so um, yeah, I mean, we, we know how it feels. We know what we got to do. How Isaac. cool is it to be in a game where, from the Kentucky point of view, this is the biggest game they've had in 50 years, and there's probably not even a close second? Yeah, I mean, their their stadium is going to be jumping. It's going to be loud. They're going to have all their fans there. And, um, you know, like you said, it's a spot they haven't been in a while. So, um, you know, they're excited for this one. They're going to be pumped up, and, you know, they're going to be ready to go. So we need to make sure that we're on our P's and Q's, too, to um, – you know, make sure that we realize what, what we're playing for. And I think we do we, we do know that. It seems like you guys have been shuffling young guys in and out in the offensive line all year. How have you seen those guys like K. Mays and uh, Trey Hill develop from the beginning of the season to playing that they got? Um, yeah, they've done great. You know, Cade's played great. Trey's played great. Um, you know, obviously as a freshman, it's tough to step into the SEC and play right away, and they've done a good job handling it. Obviously, it hasn't been perfect. There's a lot of stuff you got to learn and and uh, get better at. But you know, for the most part, those guys have done a great job. I'm proud of what they've done. Are these the moments where you kind of look at the recruiting that's been done in that area over the past couple of years and say, you know, these are the points where it pays off? You got big games like this against Kentucky and Florida, and you know, you've got five stars to put in, not miss beat. Yeah, uh, I mean, these games you got to have depth for one, and you know, when we got experienced guys go down like Ben Cleveland and. And you got guys like Cade Mays and, and Trey Hill coming in to step up and play. Um, you know, those guys are great players. We've got a lot of confidence in them. So when you got that depth on your team, um, that's huge, especially in these big time games late in the season. Speaking of five, five stars, did you give Kentucky the time of day? Did they call you and you know, want you? And were, were you? I mean, you were getting looked at by top 15 programs. Right? Yeah, uh, I remember in high school. Um, I don't remember who it was, but one of their coaches came up and did recruit me and. Uh, I think they actually offered me on defense as well, so I think they wanted me to be a D-end over there. But, I mean, did you consider them at all? Or obviously they didn't have the history of a Georgia or a Florida or Florida State and all those schools? Um, you know, through recruiting, I tried to take a look at everybody, you know, see what I see what I would like. But um, at the end of the day, it just wasn't a school that, you know, interested me as a whole. Um, but, you know, I, they did recruit me um, out of high school. The way you all celebrated on the field in the locker room. Saturday, a little reminiscent of last year. Was it just because it was Florida, or was there a little bit more of that joy? Yeah, I would say there was a little bit more of that joy. Um, you know, we finally put together a game where we felt not like we played perfect or you know outstanding, but we felt like we played you know well to where we weren't going to be coming in on Sunday and you know getting beat up over the things that we didn't do well. Um, so I think, you know, as a whole, we put together a good game, and that was something to celebrate for us. And, and obviously a big win against Florida. You know, we're always going to celebrate that one. Is it all, like, turning point mentally? Did it seem like maybe a little bit of a weight off, like maybe you guys are finding an identity? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, when, you, when you're able to run the ball and throw the ball, you know, and, and get turnovers on defense and make stops, um, you know, that, that definitely feels good. You know, as a whole, because you know, all that work you put in throughout the week, you know, when you see it come to fruition, you know, it feels pretty good and it's, and it's uh, worthy to celebrate.